wee singularity between trains. Come on, guys. So one option is gonna change everything in Apex Legends. It's gonna change your aim and make it so stable and even your recoil and everything, accuracy and all you dream of. Everything you dream of about your aim, this one option can change everything. And when I say one option, I mean like it can work on any setting. So it's not gonna be about just, hey, let's create a new setting to make no recoil or let's make a new setting to have the best accuracy. No, 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 no. Guys this thing that i'm gonna speak right now this can this thing that i'm gonna show you right now is gonna change everything that you need it's gonna help you with anything that you're playing with so it doesn't matter what settings you're playing low sense high sense but the only thing that matters just one thing that matters is that it cannot work on default settings before i start with the video guys we are doing private sessions on discord so if you guys want to join discord there's a link in the description down below we do private sessions we can find your own personal settings and also there's more and more things that you can learn in the private sessions so if you guys want that then join discord the link in the description or on my youtube page you can find it on the top and you can just book a ticket right there and get a private session with me yo what's up sms gang it's your boy my sms we are back with another apex legends video guys in this video i'm gonna talk about one option that can change your aim into something impossible but default settings doesn't have this option so what is this option actually sorry so what is this option actually let me show you guys what this first option first of all i'm gonna talk about the Let's talk about this accuracy things and uh, aiming. So everybody know, I know your question, why is my aim non not consistent sometimes? Or why is my aim off? There's many reasons. Let's talk about the reasons first. There are reasons like packet loss. If you have packet loss, it will affect your aim so much because it affected mine. There's another reason that your controller could be broken. For example, your controller after a long time of using, it can have a lot of stick drift and many other things that can also make your aim non-consistent and there's a lot of things that can cause this for example high high dead zone some people really reuse a lot of dead zone but this is not the topic right here only we're just talking about the reasons now how can we actually fix the aim assist that you lose in some days or let's say your muscle memory because well, some days you play some days when you some days oh God, i cannot spell some days when you play apex legends you lose your aim for no reason yes it could happen there's nothing called for no reason, but this one, yes, it could happen. How? For no, when I say for no reason, it means mental. It's, it's called mental, okay? You lose your MSS mentally. You feel like your aim is off. 
It's just because you're not ready mentally. So how can we actually fix this with one option inside the game? So let me show you guys how to fix this. First of all, you go to the settings and you go to the controller, okay? You drop all the way down to the ALC because I told you it's not going to work with default settings, only with ALC. But be careful, we're not going to change anything in the ALC. Your same setting that you're using now, we're going to do that. So we go to the ALC. Let's say this is your setting, for example, okay? No, no, we're not going to turn off MSS or anything. We are, we're not going to do that because if you turn off MSS, then it's going to feel like it's a different sense. We don't need really that much thing. The only thing we can do, the one thing, the one trick, the one option that you have that you can do is the outer threshold. Now, let's read what the outer threshold first. It's called width of the outer buffer defining the boundary of max tick input. Some controllers need a very slight amount. This boundary is also where any extra yaw or pitch setting will take effect. So let's say an example, okay? If we turn this all the way right here, if we turn here, here like all the way 30, what happens is that the small push that you do, you will reach that 500 yaw speed and pitch speed, okay? And it also gonna feel like you have extra speed. So for example, look at this speed. But here, when I, when I barely touch the analog, left and right, look at, look at the speed already. I reach the maximum very fast, okay? So that's what the outer threshold does. Now, what can we do with this? What's the option that we're gonna do? The simple thing that we're gonna do, let's say your aim is off, okay the simplest thing we're gonna do is turning this all the way up to 30. so here's why here's what's gonna happen sorry here's what's gonna happen so when we turn this all the way to 30 then your muscles will feel that you're reaching the maximum speed of the sense that you're using whether it's low sense or high sense so what happens is that your aim will feel off a little bit it will feel very hard to to land shots with this uh uh, thing because it's too much high the MSS is gonna feel even worse and worse but the good thing here is that you'll unconsciously try to fix this by barely touching the analog so you're gonna barely touch the analog and you feel like okay I'm trying my best to land just with this thing it's gonna be hard but you're gonna try your best so what we're gonna do right here after we turn this on of course we're, gonna not, we're not gonna keep this on forever but we turn this on all the way to max and what we're gonna do right now is very very simple we go into a game and we play a lot of games or we can go to a 1v1 and play with a friend you can decide whatever you want the best option i can give you is that you train here for five minutes against the dummies and go into a games and play at least six games okay at least six games play until you feel that you're comfortable a little bit with this 30 i'm not saying 100 percent because it's very hard to be comfortable with this a lot so after that you feel like a little bit getting there getting comfortable the very very option the very simple way that you're gonna do what you're gonna do right now is turn it all back to normal what you were using for example i'm using two so let's just go back to the two and now when we are aiming your muscle will still thinking that you're gonna barely touch the analog which is what we need to do so what happens here now, here now is that you still barely touch the analog but when you aim on the target, you'll feel that that's what you wanted. That's what like, that's what comfortable for you. You feel like your aim is so much on point and the MS is now working more and nothing happened like before. It's like your accuracy is back after you lost it for a long time. This works 100% guys. Trust me, it's not really a clickbait video or something that I'm just telling you like, oh man, my, my experience only. I tested this with friends and they were shocked. They got crazy about this. And it really definitely helped everyone okay so this is how you fix MSs and get back your MSs and accuracy and all the aiming uh, on controller back again on work that's how you can do it i hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one peace out